everyone and welcome to Dark Sun Gaming. My name is Chris and in today's video we are going to be going over what I hope to see with the Easy A Awakenings of the Ginyu Force. Now, before we go ahead and get started, if you haven't done so, please make sure you guys give me a thumbs up if you like today's video. It definitely helps out the video, helps out the channel, and everything else. So, when it comes to the uh, Ginyu Force, this this team is low-key actually. I'm... I'm is actually really good. I mean, I've actually been using them a lot lately, uh, trying to link level them and everything with the uh, incoming EZAs, and they're bad. The, in their current state, they are bad. I mean, I couldn't even beat in one, like, they couldn't one-shot some of the bosses of the last level of quest, and that's not good. So, you know, really jumping in before we kind of break down each individual character, if each one of these guys are not getting to, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say at least 750,000 damage, it, it's a loss, and there's no way that that's gonna happen because even on a dual uh, lead uh, leader skill for them, I mean they're hitting about 500, that 450 to 500,000. So I mean I think right away they're gonna probably be going anywhere between, um, I don't know, probably. Uh, uh, 750,000 to a million. Um, I do think a couple of them should be able to hit over that. I, really, the best case scenario would be if all of them are hitting over a million, and then you turn around and have uh, probably either the Captain Ginyu or have the Ginyu Force LR uh, turn around and consistently hitting probably that uh, three to four million. Uh, just because of the fact that Master Roshi, I think, is, is probably a really good example of what could end up happening. So, just kind of jumping into them. Um, Birder. Alright, another thing I wanted to mention about these guys, category-wise, realistically, they actually are on a lot of really good categories. Planet Namek Saga obviously needs to boost and Ginyu Force, you know, for that. Dragon Ball Seekers, this could be amazing for them. Along with Terrifying Conqueror, Special Pose, and Space Traveling Warriors, they have a lot of potential to be doing a lot of really good things to some categories if they make these guys very, very good. Leader skill on all these guys are going to be what it's going to be. They might go to 50%, um, maybe 3-key. I don't see much of anything else unless they're going to low-key give these guys a, a new leader skill for... Uh, the, I don't know, like Dragon Ball Seekers and make them 50% or something like that. Um, but any which way, so a Birder is the one we're going to start off with. He's going to, right now, currently just raise his defense. I, I could see them easily going to greatly raise his defense and then in his uh, mechanic getting, instead of it being just a high chance to evade an enemy attack, um, being almost a guaranteed or a great chance, I think is easily what could turn around and happen. Probably attack and defense plus... Uh, 20%, I mean, that would at least make it a, a, a little bit better for him, um, but at the same time, you know, not horrible stats when he's got his, uh, when you look at his max stats here, but I could easily probably see him, maybe his attack reaching 13 to 15,000, and, and that's kind of going to be this, the same similar theme to all these guys, so, I mean, with hopes, they all should really be able to be doing better um, when it comes in the attack standpoint. Um, but the, him, I mean, they could add in some additional things to go along with it. Maybe he's going to get an additional 10 to, the, you know, probably 10% attack and defense per dodge that he does. You know, very similar to UI Goku. Uh, that, that I could very much see. So, uh, definitely some huge boosts that, that he could get. But, yeah, definitely the raises... A greatly raises a defense is something I really think I want to see on him. I don't know if he will go to an immense supply or a damage multiplier, but again, if you're really looking to trying to increase these guys, that's going to be something that's going to have to happen. Goldo is low key one of the really good units because of the fact that his current passive skills attack and or attack enemies get minus 20% for two turns. Literally, they're going to add all kinds of different things. Probably just a straight buff, and all these guys could get a straight buff. Of, since there's five Ginyu Force members, I give them all uh, attack and defense plus 50% minimum. I could see an increase of. And then his uh, super attack may be a guarantee chance to, to stun. Or in his passive skill, give him another medium to high chance to stun. Because I mean, he guarantees like his stun when he's doing his telekinesis. It's just that it only lasts for like a turn. So I could see them doing that. 
uh, to really kind of help out. Uh, but otherwise, it's uh, it's gonna be pretty interesting to see what ends up happening with him, uh, just because I think Loki he's he's probably one of the better units and helps out with some of the different stuff with that uh, guaranteed negative attack and defense. Maybe you see him seal as well, but probably a better opportunity for him to be uh, just everything kind of all together. Jumping over next, Ginyu. Okay, so Captain Ginyu here. I think we're going to turn around and really see him shine. I mean, I can see his, you know, raise his attack and defense for his multiplier. I could see with his key plus three and attack and defense plus 70%. I could see them just eliminating the versus only one enemy. Although the damage received negative 50% when facing two or more, that that is actually really good. But I could see them, maybe they won't change that because he's, you know, it still kind of keeps him in a specific type of kit. But... Yeah, I, I see them really kind of making him the, the powerhouse that he should be when he comes down and ends up fighting them. And I could easily see them jumping him up to maybe 140, 150. Again, these guys need so much help. That is not out of the question, I think, for them to, to be doing that. Uh, maybe 120. You know, it is probably more a little bit more, more realistic of what we're going to end up turning around and seeing. But yeah, definitely a lot of really great opportunities that we're going to be turning around and seeing with this guy. Uh, could even try to see him maybe with a stun of some sort because of the fact that he does the change now. And that's literally that pose. That's the change now pose that he does when he's switching bodies with Goku. So I think that could turn around and end up being another really fun unit they could have. Uh, with something, but even at that point, I mean, 11,000, he really should be hitting a lot harder. I mean, I no reason why this dude should not be hitting one and a half to two million after his easy A. Jace, Jace, all right, so Jace is uh pretty cool because of the fact that he has one of the best passive skills in the entire game, which is for C's enemy super attack, and his is just straight up, not to mention he's the booster. So I could see the extreme class allies key plus three and attack and defense plus 30%. And then if they are part of the Ginyu force, getting an additional 10 or 20%. So you can easily see that. I mean, that foresees enemy tax. I mean, they're, they're going to make that pretty busted. I don't see him maybe put, putting out quite as much damage because that is such an amazing uh, super attack. But again, I could see I could see different things that go along with this, such as... Um, a damage reduction for everybody. I could easily turn around and see them maybe do something with a, a additional boost somehow with these people. Again, though, I, I could turn around and easily see what's his. Uh, yeah, his his attack is ten thousand, and his defense is actually seven thousand. So again, I could probably easily see them. Let's see, I probably probably easily see him reaching fourteen thousand there, and probably ten thousand on defense, and uh, cause supreme damage and raising all allies attack. And I could see attack and defense for 20 percent and possibly even go two turns i i think this is definitely not outside the realm for him raccoon he was always the one that was really supposed to kind of take everything uh here you can see his his attack multiplier going up with each damage that he received i could easily see that scene going up to 700 percent or 700 percent jesus pete he's not he's not uh uh bergamo uh, but any which way, I could see him easily going to 100 on that. And then same thing with his defense. Maybe even give him a straight boost of attack and defense plus 100%. And then having the add additional 14% coming through. And with his super attack, I could see him still lowering uh, the enemy's defense. Maybe he never really got stronger as he fought. He just instantly was kind of one of those enemies that he came out right away and he just didn't mess around i mean he he was hitting people because he couldn't really hold back his strength a lot of times uh so it, it'd be interesting to see what's going to turn around and happen with him he's the one that I, i'm actually the the most unsure of what they could end up doing i, I, I think that they would be just straight uh attacks maybe maybe have him actually get well, again, he, he does get stronger with each attack he receives, but maybe have a some sort of damage reduction built into him, because he seems to take a lot of punishment and just didn't didn't get hurt on any of that. Now, the one thing that we don't really know about yet is we don't know if these two are going to be getting anything. So, I, I could really end up seeing seeing the Ginyu Force 
Again, probably going to 150%, which is obviously going to greatly help the unit. Maybe even go to 170. And then same thing, you know, I think the extreme class, I think you're going to see a key boost out of these guys. Easily the Ginyu Force, I could see that going to like another 50%. I mean, these guys are designed to be in your third slot uh, or first slot, depending upon how everything is running through them. I and mean, they are obviously the LR. They've got a huge amount of attack and defense. So I think, you, I don't know. If, well, no, we don't see any of those stats go up because of easy A's. So you won't see anything like that boost up so easily. They, they're going to turn around and have a lot of multipliers that are going to come through and get their kind of stuff burning up with that. I could easily, I could see them doing a greatly raises defense and maybe even, uh, hmm, I don't know, maybe the same thing greatly raises defense here for a turn for their super attack for extreme allies. But pretty interesting on all that. Let's see here. Can you foresee? That's a that's a really good link, actually. 25% with a 5% chance of critical is pretty good. I don't think they would end up changing that at all. Uh, let's see here. Signature pose. Okay. You don't get an additional 7% attack. Deep, gentlemen. Uh, let's see here. Respect. I don't think they all had. Uh, what was... Let me jump back here. Because all these guys pretty much save the same... Okay. Shattering element. So, I mean, they're... they're they're doing okay with most of that, but that right there is a... Well, they don't change link skills, so never mind. That's still good. 25% boost is good, but I mean, they, that it, when you sit there and think about like even that much more that they need to do to these units, because with that link skill activated, they're still not all that great. Um, and then this one right here, I think, is a complete wild card, whether or not this is going to get a boost, because this could use all kinds of things. I could see that going up to a defense plus 50%. Uh, again, a straight boost here, 77 thousand i could see them making that just stay oh i don't know 50 40 percent 30 percent maybe uh going through and boosting them up and then again just making them massively strong uh 17 000. um they're not an easy unit to get a hold of so i could really see them if they were to turn around and get something which is desperately needed you're gonna see those those boosts but these these guys here if they do get it in LR, I could see them hitting that that three million attack stat. These guys have got to be hitting a three million attack stat because even at max, they might break a million. I think a million and a half might be the best that I'd, I'd seen them going. But otherwise, that's going to be kind of like all they're going to be able to do. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, these guys have needed this. This is going to be fantastic for the game. It's going to be wonderful. Uh, but otherwise, that's going to be today's video. Uh, hopefully, everything is going to be uh, pretty cool. And we'll know here in just a few short days when these guys are all going to be going through and getting their easy A. And then, as a slight bonus, make sure after their easy A is probably not a bad idea to also farm up uh, some of these SSRs if you are a, a free-to-play player. Because I could definitely see these guys being used or be some of the special characters in the explosive chain battle uh so that way they could all kind of link together fairly well five what was that I mean, most of them are, are at you know they're all going to be at six categories so that's going to be pretty good on that standpoint and not to mention they all usually uh tag team up at least with four so pretty interesting pretty interesting this is going to be be pretty nice so otherwise that's it that's today's video thank you all very much for watching i'll talk to you guys later